Hey guys, uh, somebody sent me this link, so we're going to check it out. It is Disturbed, The Sound of Silence. Um, the song from, it's a cover from the song of uh, Simon and Garfunkel. I think they're the only music that I can recall my mom saying she liked. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite songs, I think. Um from that generation of music it's poetic it is the quintessential 21 year old angst you know during a time of political noise um from paul simon but the thing is is like sometimes poetry can resonate so much that it just ripples through time right so it resonated with people at the time that it resonated as soon as the Vietnam War hit and it resonated, you know, past that all the way t t to now and people resonate, um, you know, with some of the meaning of these lyrics, you know, now the inability to communicate with each other, um, you know some juxtapositions between this, you know, silence being good and silence being something that could cause people turmoil. Um, you know, the stuff about neon gods, people interpret quite a lot of ways. Um, so I'm not going to go too much on the lyrics on this. Um, cause I would just be wrong anyways. If you guys have any things about the lyrics, you know, comment below uh, we're really just going to listen to Disturbed and, the, and their view of it and how he interpret how they interpreted uh, the song. I, I don't know. I'm interested in it. Here we go. Please welcome Disturbed! <laughs> Darkness, my own friend I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its scenes while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Dreams are walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turn my collar to cold and damp Not extremely familiar with Disturbed um, you could tell you could tell they thought they thought about the song they thought about the lyrics you could tell in his face you know in in his voice that he he thought about what it meant to him and, and what and what he's saying in this and what Paul Simon might have meant or what the song means to him it's very, uh, you know, it's a little more, the melody's a little bit faster, and, you know, Simon and Garfunkel. And this really is like, I don't know, it's very powerful, uh, the way he's singing it, with, with, with the way his, his voice is. And they got candles in the back, and it, it's absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. I'm sorry I don't have, like, specifics you know i'm not a vocal coach i just ride the ways of the music and and enjoy it when my eyes were stare 
by the flash of a neon light that split in the night and touched the sound of silence. And in the naked light I saw ten thousand people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, people hearing without listening, people writing songs, and voices never share, and no one dare. You're like the, you know, when he goes into people talking and speaking and people aren't listening, you can just hear the, you just, not hear, you can feel like the melancholy, just the, just the sheer sadness that people don't understand. You know, it's what's about, they don't understand that that's, and you just hear it in, in his voice and in the way he hit hit those like certain noise and no. disturb the sound of silence for say I you do not know silence like a cancer grows Hear my words and I my heart teach you. Take my arms and I my heart reach you. But my words like silent raindrops fell. Echoed in the wells of silence. Um, backing instrumentals is so powerful that when he goes into, you know, you can't take it anymore, and he, and he goes into it. Oh, that gets me. It's so powerful. There's, there's, there's like, there's helplessness in there. You know, it's like, you know. You just like feel and it just reverberate back to what Paul Simon was probably trying to say. Just, just you know, why can't you guys see see this? You know, no one's talking about these problems. It's just noise, but there's silence. Oh, I had to stop it there. I was about to like, I was about to cry. <laughs> Jeez. Let me compose myself. Let me go back. He goes into that.
That was stunning. That was beautiful. It, you got to give it to, you know, everybody on that stage. Everybody that played, that was just very well orchestrated. And he had a beautiful, beautiful voice. Oof. <laughs> oh, Mr. Reactor, maybe you should have some actual words to say and not just uh, <laughs> say it was awesome. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, that was... You know, I've listened to... There's a lot of stuff out there. Amazing, phenomenal stuff. There's a few things that are like... Like, absolutely breathtaking. And, and sometimes... Just... Enjoying it. I don't know. It just speaks for itself. You know, it's a silly thing to say, right? Like, people could break it down. The vocal coach, coaches can, you know... They'd have a lot more to say on it than me. But speaking from the emotions that the melody, the lyrics, and then the orchestrated attempt by everybody on there from the back into the singer was just so well done that like, you know, it, like you can you you feel it you you feel that you know you see that you know there's, there's like different levels to like reality you know there's the the surface there's stuff underneath it and then there's this sometimes this well deep below where you're like no no you like you hear what I'm saying but you you're not really hearing me that's that's the wavelength all the way down there where like that, that, that it's on they're like it's a deeper part of who we are it's, it's real hard to describe <laughs> uh, thank you for sending that to me that was, that was beautiful uh, I'll stop t talking now uh, that was breathtaking so simple as that alright guys I will see you later